uh, as they put the mask over my face to uh, put me under, I felt myself, you know, couldn't, I couldn't breathe and I was fighting crazy like to breathe, I can't breathe and I saw the surgeons above me and all but all of a sudden it just got black and I'm struggling my hands are tied down for surgery and uh, I, I just absolutely was just just freaking out. It's like you go underwater and you're just, you know, trying to breathe and you can't. And I'm in this darkness, complete black, and I started transitioning through the darkness into what appeared to be a tunnel or something. And and I knew, I guess, kind of at that point that I was dead. And as we went, I went through the tunnel, I saw down below me, I saw Don, my husband, and my son, other sons down there around a lamp pole. And it was raining and they were crying because they thought I was dead. And I was trying to tell them, no, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm, everything's fine, I don't know what's happening, but I'm okay. And I felt peace, I felt, you know, they're going to be just fine, you can leave them now. And I moved on and there were four human figures standing off to my left. And I don't know who they were, but they were dressed in street clothes and uh, not anybody I, I could tell you who they were, but could have been distant relatives, I don't know who they were, they weren't, weren't angels or anything, but they had these really concerned looks on their faces, like, you're really in for it, or, you know, I, it scared me, the way they were looking at me, and, and I passed by them, and the words were spoken, just that transmission of, of knowing something's really wrong. And then I heard this horrendous, horrendous noise, like a freight train right alongside of me, this noise was so loud, and, and and I felt a rope being pulled through the middle of me like a hundred miles an hour just burning and tearing and the thought came to me there is no God and and in that instant everything stopped the quiet there and I knew without any doubt in my mind that God did exist God was real and all these years of my life I did not believe in God but now I knew I mean, this is my hand, and is anybody in here going to try to tell me this isn't my hand? I knew that much, that God did exist, and, uh, and all these years later, I still know that. Over 55 years, I know that that, that is true. God does exist. Then I heard the noise again. It came again, and the pulling through the middle of me, and, and the thought came to me, there, there is no heaven. And again, it all stopped, and I started going to this brightness, this beautiful brightness, and at this point I felt like it would be easy to leave everything behind me. I wanted nothing more than to be here in this place going into heaven. I wasn't fearful, I wasn't frightened, and we had the, the peace of, incredible peace that nobody ever has been able to explain, I can't explain it, but I felt myself transitioning towards that. I knew I was going to heaven, and I was so excited, I was just the, I just, you know, people have tried to explain what this feels like, but they can't, and I can't either. But, but then I felt the bottom drop out, and the noise came again, and the pulling through the chest, and there was the thought, there is no hell. And I felt myself, just like you're sitting here now, and it's, this room opens up, and you start falling into total darkness. And I was falling and falling, and I knew I was in hell. And I, you know, I was screaming, you know, God, I believe in you, I believe in you. Please take me from this place. But I, I thought to myself that God doesn't even know I'm here. He doesn't enter into this place. I mean, I was wrong, but God knows it's everywhere. But anyway, I, I, I knew I had sent myself there. I had blasphemed God. I had said, God, you know, if you exist, I never ever want any part of you. And God was honoring that. He was honoring my request that I didn't want anything to do with him. I hated God. I hated him. And so that's where I was. And I knew God didn't send me there. That I had sent myself there. I don't believe God sends anybody to hell. And as I was screaming out to God, please forgive me, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I believe in you now. I felt myself spiraling backwards again. And I felt myself going back into the tunnel, going back towards the entrance of the tunnel. And then I felt my spirit, who I know is me, enter back into my physical body. I felt the will to live, which is an actual thing. It's not a, not a, not a, uh, not just a saying, but it's an actual physical thing. God places within us the will to live. And if anybody says they're not really afraid to die, well, maybe so, but 
you have a will to live and you're going to fight to live until you can no longer and and then when your will to live leaves you that's when God will take over but that will to live I felt enter back into my body I heard a voice clearly say to me bring people to me now <laughs> and then I woke up in the in the surgery room and I went screaming oh God's real there really is a God there really is a God and you know I've been still screaming that all these years later <laughs> and I never have stopped believing for one even a little bit that this didn't really happen and it happened and it, it wasn't of course I, I, I questioned people after it happened I asked my doctor you know what what happened to me? Said, I don't know what happened to you, he said, but you were under general anesthetic and you're, you're, I guess you're disconnected from, you're on a life support thing where your brain isn't actually functioning and this is what I was told and uh, so under general anesthetic you cannot, you know, formulate these things. Um, I asked, well, could it have been uh, hallucinations? Hallucinations are are, are bright flashes of images. They're not, they're not a sequence of events like what happened to me and happened to a lot of other people. They're actual uh, sequence of events and not these, uh, so they're not hallucinations. I talked to Dr. Bruce Grayson and he did 20 years of studies on me. So, and he believes my story that is really for real. So I know it happened and I have been doing that ever since all these years, just uh, doing what I feel God asked me to do and that was to bring people to him.